bruh. I had an insane cry session today in the shower. My favorite place to cry is in a hot, steamy shower, you know? Because when you got all that snot coming out of your nose, maybe you can just wipe it away in the shower. <laughs> I haven't had a good cry in a long time. And it's so healthy to release built up tension, built up emotions, feel the feels, and reflect, keep it moving versus bottling it all up, holding it in, and having negative feelings like anger or stress or anxiety stuck inside of you. It's very much so healthy to express it and relieve it i get like the ugly cry where i get the crust in my eyes the next day the swollen eyelids honey the red eyes it's very glamorous <laughs> so i know i look crazy today but i really wanted to touch on mental health and the fact that we are all human we all have emotions whether you're a man or a woman it is okay to be a man and have feelings and instead of bottling them up because you're a man deal with it you can express them i don't understand why men aren't allowed to express emotions or it's not accepted as much as a woman and at least in the black community it's like you don't see men crying like i never really see my dad cry maybe one time in my life one time in my life i can literally say i've seen him cry and that is so insane because we forget that even our parents are human like they have emotions too they're not batman and superman like they are also human and they go through feels and emotions so i just wanted you guys to know i'm human too like i have ugly kim k cries and you know trisha paytas crying on the kitchen floor very much so me today <laughs> but we keep it moving that's just a part of life i guess but i am having some energy drink probably not the smartest because it's going on 7 p.m my gym closes in two hours actually i did film a video this morning it's so insane because i felt off last night and then i woke up this morning and i was like oh my god i have a deadline how am i gonna get through this so the whole day i'm thinking oh my god how am i gonna get this video done all i want to do is go get in the shower and cry <laughs> I'm laughing now, but I was like, okay, just get up, shower, do your makeup, brush those edges back, film the video, and then we can go deal with our emotions later because I have commitments. So I kid you not, the second that I wrapped up the video, took some photos for the thumbnail, I hopped back in the shower, <laughs> and it all came out like word vomit, like just ugly, like weeping and wheezing, and it felt so good afterwards. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I felt so much better processing those feelings. Uh, mental health is super important, you guys, and it's not really talked about, well, actually, I would say this. It's more so talked about now than it was when I was growing up as a kid. It's just like, suck it up. That's what I was told as a kid. Huh? What you mean? That's not a big problem in the world. There are bigger problems in the world. Stop being a little baby. What? Like, you're telling me this as a kid versus me processing my feelings and asking me what's wrong, what's causing this, what's triggering it. Like, huh? Isn't it crazy how we think about our kids and then we wonder, or ourselves as a kid, and then we wonder in our adult years why we're so traumatized and broken and why we have to go through and heal? Those are things that I had to teach myself on my own spiritual journey, and I've had to learn to process and deal with my own emotions because I wasn't really taught that as a kid. So, I say all that to say, baby, you're not alone. If you feel like you want to cry right now, go cry. It is okay. <laughs> it is okay so i really wanted to do a full weekend vlog and i just was not feeling the vibes so mental health definitely is way more important to me than trying to fake the fuck for a vlog <laughs> excuse me uh, i just can't do it so i want to tell you guys what was really going on with me and you know it's okay we move tomorrow is a brand new freaking day i'm gonna go home and edit that video that i had recorded so i could send that off and complete my duties <laughs> my commitments that i signed on to do um life keeps on moving but that doesn't mean that you have to push off your feelings and just 
put on the back burner and never deal with it because that's not healthy for ourselves um, internally and mentally and emotionally and even physically it can take a toll on your body if you don't deal with your emotions it might turn into stress and then your hair might start to fall out like you might start having bad habits of like picking out your eyelashes or scratching your skin or sleeping all day and being depressed like it can literally take over your body and take a toll on everything that you do it might stop you from going to the gym and doing things that you enjoy doing and instead you're gonna stay home and be sad like or eat your feelings away or not eat like it's crazy how much your body can take a toll when you don't deal with certain things that are going on I just got ready for the day because I have some filming that I need to get done and the ups guy just came He usually comes around 2 So I was like, let me lay down and take a nap Because homeboy is not gonna be here till about 2 o'clock And turns out he came out at like 11 o'clock So I got some packages and I'm super excited two of which are not Anticipated I'm still waiting for Gosh, my eyes look crazy because I did not put on mascara they're still kind of swollen from yesterday's fiasco um so forgive my craziness right now but i'm waiting for a skims lounge delivery because i wanted to review a collection and you guys know i'm a sucker for gym clothes and loungewear i just live in lounge clothes hello and i'm always in the gym so those are like my favorite things to buy but i also got like a pr package from youth to the people so i'm gonna get into that and then i got some flowers I got flowers in the mail and then I also got my Gymshark order so I had picked up some new pieces I wanted to try Gymshark again because I'll get into this in that video but I had tried Gymshark for the first time before I started really bulking so my body just looked completely different and I'm a completely different size now everything I ever purchased from them I sold or it's listed on my Poshmark because I can't get into it, girl. So I don't even know if I really like Gymshark. But all the girlies are in it and I have kind of like FOMO. So I'm like, maybe I'll like it. Let me try it again. I only have solid color workout clothes. So I wanted some fun, bold prints. If you guys want to see what I got from Gymshark, my honest opinions, the sizing, and just all the tea. So go check that video out. It should be up by the time this vlog is posted. Um, and then hopefully I could have a cute outfit that I could wear from that order to the gym today So I want to get into these packages so I can record and then we're gonna head out to the gym Yes, sir See what we got in here. I love you to the people one of my favorite brands to shop at Sephora I'm just a skincare girl over makeup obviously so it looks like we have a face cream strengthen firm and moisturize plant proteins with collagen and it's called the polypeptide one two three future cream I love how like minimal their packaging and stuff is it just looks so nice so I'll definitely be trying this out I actually think I'm almost done with my moisturizer now so this will be like perfect timing I love something thick and creamy and then they also included this in the package is this dirt <laughs> baby I think they sent me dirt does this look like dirt <laughs> I was not expecting this so I don't even know I don't even know not my little friend thinking of me. How does he know my favorite flowers? Not a HelloFresh coupon. Oh my god. Babe. I've never had flowers in a box. Like, I've never had someone send me flowers before. What? It looks like it, too, huh? I can't even get it out of the box. Ciao. Oh, baby. <laughs> the struggle bus. <laughs> Do 
these are so beautiful uh -huh. not my camera being crazy <laughs> i gotta put some water in here this is the self-care vlog that we needed <laughs> i'm probably gonna put half of this plant food and then if i need to change the water like isn't that how it works so that they last longer i probably just made that up you know i probably definitely just made that up he knows I love pink and red roses. Baby got a mix. These are stunning. Babe, these are beautiful. I kind of really want to take a pic like this. Like I'm at a flower market. <laughs> Suddenly I forgot why I was crying. Let's see if it looks cute. know if I'm the only one that just walks around my house with a big ass water bottle <laughs> stay hydrated you guys I just like ran downstairs to take that recycling out and I only have two of my energy drinks left and I forgot to put them in the fridge so I hope this does not explode in the freezer because I want to go to the gym but I can't be drinking a warm energy drink so I'm going to fill up my water bottle. I left my vlog while well, I filmed the Gymshark review and I was going to initially edit it after the gym, but I was like, let me just knock it out now. So I ended up editing that <laughs> and it's uploading. So I'm about to take the dogs to the bathroom and I need to get like a little snack pre-workout vibes. It's 2.22. I didn't realize they added all of my favorite Nickelodeon shows from my childhood on Netflix. Disney plus who? So I just added them all to my favorites list. Like all of that. Kenan and Kel. Like come on now. Those are the vibes that I'm here for. So I just want to watch those. And be in the bed. Eating my rice cakes. <laughs> I have a rice cake obsession right now. And I'm not even mad. I might go to Target and pick up. Um, well I need to go get Lee's food and like some snappy stuff you know what i'm saying so i do that today and nobody likes warm water so i did make some rice krispies the other day so don't mind if i do i'm gonna eat one of these as pre-workout treat yes they are vegan actually alive they're dairy free not vegan because marshmallow has gelatin but i use vegan butter i made some dairy free rice krispies my little pre-workout snack my little pre-workout snack my video is now up i'm gonna take my creatine after the gym because i haven't been having like my pre-workout in the shaker cup solely because i've been obsessed with the convenience of having an energy drink. Are you a pre-workout girl or an energy drink type of girl? Comment below. I might have made the switch. So post-gym, I'll mix my creatine in my shake and show you guys how I do that. Uh, but it's 3 o'clock right now. I'm hoping to be back so I can have my little date. My 5 p.m. video chat date. You know, any little FaceTime with my thing. So we can chill for a bit. So hopefully I can be home and showered before then. I don't think I'm going to get my Skims package in time. Because I don't want to like do the try on after my workout and be all sweaty and gross. So I'll just save that for tomorrow. And um, try not to overwork myself. I already edited two videos and one of them was a sponsor so i'm waiting for it to be reviewed so i don't want to do too much i'm just happy i was able to get stuff done and like had the energy to focus self-care to me isn't about distracting yourself at least for me i feel like okay when i'm super productive and i have a to-do list of like 15 things if i just focus on doing that then i don't have to worry about the things going on that are upsetting or making me feel a type of way like sometimes distractions can be a bad thing but they could also be a good thing i don't know like i was very distracted with my work in a good way today but not in like an overwhelming way so balance is always key know when to stop 
And that's exactly what I had to tell myself today is it's okay to just go ahead and edit this video now, get it posted, and then we can have me time the rest of today. Oh, now you know we had to put the black Converse on today, honey. I'd be playing with my Zoom. I was supposed to do um, legs yesterday, but I ended up not doing that. I ended up getting on FaceTime. Like I was at the gym, but I was like in the parking lot about to go. I was drinking my pre-workout and I was like, I don't really feel like doing this. So I ended up on video chat and I ended up going to the grocery store instead. Anyone else use a key? Y'all, I put this in the freezer and I don't think I should have done that. What does it do to carbonation? I think it's supposed to explode. So don't be like me. But I was in a hurry to get this chilled for the sesh. That is gonna be an amazing day today, honey. We're doing glute focused leg day. I'm talking cable kickbacks. I'm talking hip thrust till we can't thrust no more. I also wanna do some hamstring work as well because I love my hamstring growth. Um, it makes a world of difference. It almost lifts the booty. If you have built up hammies or you don't have hammies and you want to build them up, you're going to have like a lifted glute situation. You know, they're connected. So I've been loving hamstring curls. Um, and then I want to try and do some step ups, but I did abs like three days ago or something like that. Baby, why am I still sore? Uh, my first ab workout in 13 months kicking my butt so y'all know i changed my split you can go watch my video where i show you guys my ab and cardio day i'll put in the cards for you guys if i remember to that had my abs on fire and i also did upper two days ago and my shoulders are donezo so the only thing i can do today is legs which i'm never mad about so cheers to that uh we're about to have an amazing session put our energy into something positive. I had to make a pit stop to get some gas because, you know, I just be sitting in my car way too long at the gym that I just use all of it up. And, you know, after I get gas, I always sanitize. I just realized this is not sanitizing wipes. Baby, these are face wipes. So I hope I have some in the back of my car because this isn't gonna get rid of the bacteria that I need so sanitizer and don't keep sanitizer in your car um I think it'll make it catch on fire I know that doesn't say $76 what a scam I'm really just like germ phobe you guys these shorts are low key annoying they just roll and they're tight like i don't know they be squeezing my thigh meat y'all i don't know about that i told you guys in my gymshark um review i haven't worked out in it yet so i would update you this is gonna be my update at the end of this video stay tuned you guys i can already tell they're definitely gonna roll on me if they're rolling and i'm sitting down <laughs> and i literally just got up to go get gas these are a medium too um and I feel like if I went up a size, they would not fit because they're already loose in the waist. It's just, I notice in their bikers as well, they run really small in the thigh leg area. So if they could just make that a little more space, amazing. You know, like, let's get the ratios right. Yeah, you know, we gotta touch up the lipstick. You know, we gotta feel cute. That always makes my mood go through the roof when I feel cute and I'm putting in the work in the gym you know the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't <laughs> ah! y'all met Chick-fil-a if you're ever feeling down treat yourself ladies and guys if you're watching I'm at Chick-fil-a drive-thru I told myself I would cut back because I'm trying to lean out a little bit 
But baby, the waffle fries, I just had a taste for the Chick-fil-A sauce and the Polynesian, and I need my protein. I had a really solid leg day today. Um, I thrusted like 370, ooh. Even posted a Reels and an Instagram outfit of the day, gym edition. Okay, she wanna fuck my, my minus so I'm feeling really good. I feel like I'm getting back into the swing of things and I'm focusing on things that are positive. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna go treat ourselves to something that we really enjoy. Doesn't have to be every day. I don't have to indulge so much, but there's nothing wrong with treating yourself to things that you like, whether you wanna go buy yourself something, whatever. So for me, that's some freaking waffle fries. <laughs> so it's going on six o'clock and I definitely am looking forward to having my self-care shower. So I'll show you guys some things that I like to use to make my shower routine a little more special than the daily shower. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one. Me too. Yummy. We got the grilled nuggets, the grilled sandwich with extra pickles, and a large waffle fry, and a sweet tea. Their tea, let me tell ya, it be hitting. On a summer day? Come on now. Mmm. I swear, I could be here every day, twice a day, breakfast and dinner. <laughs> it's so good. And it's hot and fresh. I deserve this. I deserve all of this. So I decided to come for a walk because nature is healing. Okay, you guys, we gotta get that vitamin D. It helps to increase our mood. Right, Lily? Y'all, I'm using my iPhone and it looks like a fisheye lens. I love this. So, post gym, slight cardio, getting some steps in. Come on, Lily, let's go. Come on, buddy. So nice in the evenings now, too, because it's not so stinking hot outside. And it's not humid. Every two seconds, this boy stops to tinkle. So, we're just going on an adventure. You can see lots of nature. A lot of nature, got the train tracks. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, I live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> got a lot of weeds, but I'm just vibing, you know? Vibing with my little friend. Hey, don't go down there, cause I don't know about that. We never been down here, so he likes to smell everything. But anyway, y'all, the water is over there. I was trying to see if we could get a cute little view. Come on, little boy. Let's go. Try to see if I could get a view for you guys. Um, cause it's so nice outside, but there's so much like nature blocking the water. But here it is. Oh. That's the end of the road, Leroy. We got a dead end. <laughs> Let's go back home. It's like so happy. That's my baby. Um, I'm going to do some self-care right now. I'm about to hop in the shower. And I always make my self-care showers a little more special. Baby, I like it hot and steamy, so I crank that thing all the way up. Sometimes I'll sit because there's like a bench in there and I'll just do some breathing. Um, don't come for me for wasting water. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's necessary. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to put some serum on my edges. I've been using this from Way. It's their new hair serum for thicker, fuller hair. So I really want to make sure my edges stay nice and thick and full. So I just add a little bit of this when I feel like I need it to my edges. I also put this all over my scalp, but I really don't feel like washing my hair so i'm just gonna hit the edges one time for the one time because you guys know we're on a hair growth journey so 
gotta do things to keep up with that and i highly recommend it this is what it looks like if i can find the link i'll drop it down below for you guys but my edges okay i did just go to the gym so they're looking nice and full i even like swooped them down today and i noticed a difference from like two months ago when i had essentially ruined my hair from protein overload as you guys saw in my hair update video i talked about that and how to get rid of protein overload i had a lot of just shedding and my hair was falling out from that so i got this and i'm seeing some results don't we love it so let's go take our self-care shower and put on some really cute pajamas nothing is worse than like i don't know taking a nice shower and then you put some dingy pajamas on baby i like to feel good i like to feel put together and i like to have cute pajamas not just cute workout clothes but cute loungewear as well self-care that makes you feel a little more special when you get to exfoliate and shave your legs. Do you know how nice it is to shave your legs and moisturize with cocoa butter and then you get into a bed with fresh sheets? My favorite feeling, top tier. Best thing in the entire world. The matcha has been copped. I forgot to say add a pump of vanilla, but that's my bad. And I actually ordered boba. I'm gonna try the white peach. You have your side. I swear, there's always something in my freaking eyeball. <laughs> What I'm going to record. Y'all see this? 
a fit girl's dream come true baby i got my ehp labs supplements delivered you guys i had a re-up on some of my favorites I also wanted to try some new things out and they are doing currently their summer sale which is one of their biggest sales out of the year which is literally the perfect time to stock up on your faves try something new try my recommendations sir recently i've become an energy drink type of girl i think because it's so convenient something about cracking open the can and just taking it with me on the go is just such a mood so i wanted to try out the cotton candy flavor which is the newest one for the oxy shred ultra energy drinks i'm gonna put a couple of these in the fridge right now because i wanted to try it actually i wanted to go to the gym like now so maybe i'll put it in the freezer and hope that it doesn't explode because i am so excited i love this in the pride pre-workout but i want to see how it compares with a little bit of the carbonation that these energy drinks have these are zero calorie zero sugar which i personally love the packaging is stunning like this is giving me that fit girl like she knows what's going on when you see this um and then also this has a fat burner a thermogenic fat burner so if you guys like the oxy shred this is basically oxy shred as an energy drink in a can and i'm on a fat loss journey right now so i'm all about these so i'm gonna put them in the freezer to hopefully get cold super quick i also wanted to try the ultra energy drink in the cali cola flavor so i love a good like coca-cola taste but i don't want to have the sugar and the calories from that so I thought these would be interesting to try out. The packaging of this one is sick. Like the black with the red is definitely giving a mood. These have 250 milligrams of caffeine. Just to keep in mind, like one scoop of my Pride pre-workout has 100 milligrams. So they recommend you could do two if you wanted. So I get a really good energy boost from these. Side note, I don't get itchy or anxious or anything like that. Like I feel very focused in the gym. It's very clean energy for me. So maybe I should put one in the freezer. Should I try both? I don't want to waste it, but I want to taste it. Oh. I also got a new shaker bottle, yes, because I wanted a miniature size one that I could keep in my gym bag. Also, because I like to mix my Pride pre-workout, I like to mix my creatine, my oxy greens if i don't want to stir it with a spoon so i got the i think what color is this girl they come in so many different colors i think this is the red color it's like a nice translucent red says ehp labs but first oxy shred and it has the built-in shaker which i prefer these to the whisks um in the cap so this is a perfect size for me and i had to stock up on my favorite protein i've been running through my blessed protein tubs and like i'm just having like two scoops a day this one is 15 servings and then the larger tub is 30 servings but because i do double scoops i run through it so quick but for summertime and like the hotter seasons the blueberry pie is my go-to flavor so i have two of the 15 servings here this is such a good fruity protein shake you guys know in my what i eat in a day videos i show you my go-to recipe also on my reels on instagram this is a vegan plant-based protein which i don't do the way i don't like dairy um for some reason before my fitness journey i tried like a very popular whey based protein that everybody gets as a starter pack right and it made me super bloated and i got like a lot of cramping in my stomach and i just felt like i had to go to the bathroom and like it just was not a good time so i said we're gonna try plant-based proteins and i've tried so many on the market on my own journey and the final stop was blessed like once i tried blessed i was like all right bet this is the best vegan protein they have the best fun flavors that aren't basic and boring like vanilla and just chocolate like they have at least 11 flavors on the site right now um and they're so unique so i like the blueberry pie it's a nice fruity dessert style uh protein so also great for the shaker and then the last thing i ordered was a collagen so i know they came out with this not too long ago they're always coming out with fun things that are essentials um this is a marine based collagen and it's called the oxy glow 
And you guys know I'm on a hair growth journey right now and I really wanna start taking this to see how it does with my skin health, my hair, and having stronger nails. So I think I'm gonna add a scoop of this into like my protein shakes. Sometimes I'll add my creatine, my create in there as well because you can't taste it. So you might as well throw all the goodies in there and get the benefits. So I'll let you guys know how this works for me. I'm really excited to try this out. I haven't really seen a lot of reviews on this, so I definitely want to come back and do a review for you guys. Um, it says it's for all genders, gluten-free, naturally sourced. It also has no soy, dairy, or fillers in it, which is always nice to see. Really excited about the Oxy Glow. Let me know if you guys have ever tried that out. I'm going to let my energy drinks cool off and then we're gonna come back and do a taste test because i really want to know which flavor i prefer my favorite one right now which i don't have anymore i ran through a whole pack of it last week i was just obsessed i'm telling you is the peach candy rings oh so good like that one top 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 tier so i want to see how that compares to my favorite one right now so if you guys want to shop my favorite supplements try any of these out now is definitely the time i'm going to try to get this video out today which today's a friday um it's like the last week of the sale so if you guys want to get these get the bundle deals and use my code k10 at checkout for additional savings don't be asleep you guys because i definitely wanted to stock up Wow, have you guys ever had the Olipops in the cola flavor? That's my favorite flavor. It tastes just like this. There's no like weird stevia taste, which I possibly can't stand. Wow, these are dangerous. It's lightly sweet, carbonated, crisp. Oh no, that tastes so good. Let me cleanse my palette. Oh, wow. This tastes a little bit different than the Pride pre-workout in Cotton Candy. I think I prefer it in this because it's carbonated. It just tastes like a fair, like in a can. These are both really good. Now that I've tried these and I've obviously have my favorite of the peach candy rings, I think I like these two more because that one's more fruity. This one has like I don't know what it is. They're both lightly sweet. And I don't do a lot of sweetness, so this is perfect for me. This almost has a soda taste. Like I can't put my finger on it. It tastes a little bit like cream soda. I don't know if you guys have ever had cream soda. Like a dessert, that's giving me what this tastes like. And I loved cream soda growing up. Like it has a very warm flavor. It doesn't have a fruity taste or anything. Like I don't know what I was expecting cotton candy to taste like, but cotton candy, but it's giving cream soda. Okay, now between the two, I don't know. They're equally like a five out of five star. Like these are gonna be definitely my go-to's now. I might have to favor this one because it's pink. <laughs> Is that bad? Like I just feel super cute with this in my hand. I don't know. I'm a packaging girl. I don't know you guys. Anyway, you need to try these two flavors. They're both hitting very, very, very hard, and I need to not have both of them because that caffeine is gonna be insane, but I wanted to give you guys an honest taste test, first impressions. So let me know if you guys have tried these out and which one is your favorite. I'm already feeling the energy, so I'm gonna go get ready for the gym. I'll see you guys there. Let me show you guys my gym fit today. I really love these shorts. They're from Amazon. They're the Arola shorts. They're really thick and the inseam is long enough where I don't have to keep doing this in the gym. So I will link these, I will put them on my Amazon shop. So check out the links down below. I know they're always adding new colors. I actually just ordered some of their newer like neutral shades. I think they have a shorter inseam. So once those come in the mail, I'll probably record 
a whole review for those of you guys that love Amazon just like me. Um, and then I paired it with this black Alphalete crop top because it's hot as heck outside and I didn't want to wear like a bralette or just a sports bra. I'm feeling kind of bloated, I'm not gonna lie. I've just been bloated all month, you guys. I've been on, um, what do you call it, antibiotics and my gut health is just trash. So don't even think about that. But look how flattering these are from the back. Hello, I wore these yesterday in the red color and I was feeling so cute. So I'm gonna have a little snack right now. I've been obsessed with these apple cinnamon rice cakes. All right, um, I went back to the store to buy some more because they were sold out. So I had to get the caramel flavor and I've never had those, so hopefully they're good. But I just wanna get something in my belly. And uh, I made my mom try this cola, Cali Cola. She loves it. So she's gonna have that because I cannot have two energy drinks today. <laughs> Crackhead energy, we don't need that negativity. It's hot out here in the DMV. Made a quick little stop at my favorite place, Chipotle, because I need my calories, I need my protein. My Chipotle order, 100 grams of protein and it's cheap so i just got a burrito double chicken black bean pinto bean double corn guac on the side pico on the side chips and white rice fit girl hacks if you need the protein you need the calories to get thick go to chipotle <laughs> and order that or i'll do a bowl and then get like a tortilla on the side and then make my own burrito and then I have a bowl and a burrito. Life hacks. While I enjoy my delicious Chipotle post shower, I'm gonna enjoy this show. You guys, I've been watching on Netflix. It's called Snowflake Mountain. Basically, these people go to wilderness camp and it's very entertaining because I don't know if I would survive if I was sent there. So let me know if you guys have been watching this and what do you guys think about it?